I remember asking him, like, Mike, I said, how did you guys do the lean in the Smooth Criminal video? And he said, oh, well, so we, we got a swami and we had a big ceremony and the swami came in and he lit a bunch of candles and everybody kind of got really floaty and we were in a vibe. I said, really? He said, no, silly. <laughs> Greg and uh, what's up, Uncle Hell? What's up, baby? Z trip. What's up, baby? Yo, yo. Feeling good. Feeling good. All right. What we got? What we got? We got a sample train going on in here. We're gonna have a sample train. Ooh. Oh. Oh yeah. Well, we we all know that's the that's right. the one. Uh, that's no secret there. That's the one. So he got to have a trick up his sleeve. Yeah, I, yeah I'm, 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 I'm wondering take you there. where we going with I'm this. I'm gonna take you there. You he got to have saying? a trick up his sleeve. Michael Jackson beat it, 1982. Off the album Thriller, That's Michael Jackson, him. Quincy Jones, one of my mentors. We eat lunch regularly. Uh. Shout out to Quincy Jones. Rest in power, the king, Michael Jackson. Okay. All right, so here's the thing, man. Yeah. Before we dive into this, I got to set it up a little bit. I just want to pick your brain a little bit because you actually met and hung with Michael a couple times. You guys had a bit of a relationship. Tell us a little bit about that, man. Give us some insight into Michael Jackson through your lens. Well, I mean, he was a funny dude, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I remember asking him, like, Mike, I said, how did you guys do the lean in the Smooth Criminal video? And he said, oh, well, so we, we got a swami and we had a big ceremony and the swami came in and he lit a bunch of candles and everybody kind of got really floaty and we were in a vibe. I said, really? He said, no, silly. <laughs> <laughs> Chat book. <laughs> he was sitting up on the piano and sh we was in the studio talking. He said, sorry, I'm late. It was traffic. We made a couple of songs together, hung out. He was a good dude, man. He was a funny dude and he was simple. Such a great artist, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was just a blessing to be around him and hang him around him so much. And, you know, just all the, you know, interactions. It was, it was a real deal. It was a Word. real deal. Word. You know? That's awesome. And, and it like, for really, really. And, you know, Quincy Jones as well. Like, cause you know, being in the studio with, you know, with, with you know, you know, seeing them do different things and meeting Rod Temperton and, you know, you know, like Rod Temperton, he wrote Lady in My Life. So, Hey Lover, and just sitting down with him and explaining to him what I wanted to do with the song and, you know, getting the sample cleared and all of those things happening. You know, it was an amazing, amazing thing. So that's fun. Quincy Jones, in general, I owe a lot to. He's given me a lot of great advice over the years. All right. Um, and uh, we sit down and chop it up pretty frequently. So I love him, man. And Mike was, was the same. He was dope. You know big, what up, big up, Quincy yeah. Jones. Yeah. Man. All right, so, but so, see, where we so, going with so, 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 yeah, right so, so Quincy Jones is actually, yo, know, be, be patient because this is going right. to be dope. Okay. Quincy Jones is actually the, the component here. Because okay. Quincy Jones on this particular record made a phone call because he wanted a guitar solo on this record. Okay. So he got a guitarist, and the guitarist that he got on here never got credited for the part. Okay. He made a phone call, and he called Eddie Van Halen to yes. be on this record. So if you did not know this, I'm going to play you the Eddie Van Halen part. But Eddie Van Halen came in, sat down for like maybe a half hour, an hour, right. asked if he could rearrange the track a little bit, did his part, and left. Did. With, All he, right. he got no credit, didn't get, any, didn't get paid nothing okay. on it. It was a little something like this. Check it out. Here comes Eddie Van Halen. So he didn't get paid? Didn't get paid nothing. No credit, nothing. That's a rough one. But we're really going to dive into some Van Halen Yeah, right I need here. to know what's going on right now. Okay. Here it comes, here it comes. Okay, all right. But here is the guitar solo, soloed. Rest in peace to Eddie Van Halen. Okay. But see, this is kind of a, a sample train of, of two worlds. Because you were you knew Mike, I wanted to get that in, but I wanted to make the connection to get okay. to Eddie Van Halen. Yeah, because I'm waiting, see, I'm I'm sitting here. I'm, I know, I'm I know. Stumped. I know I'm you stumped. are. I know you okay. are. Okay. So Eddie Van Halen, who you also worked with. Yeah. Because okay. you've worked with everybody. I worked with Eddie. So yeah. I want to hear a little bit about Eddie, man. What was he so, like? So so Eddie, Eddie Van Halen ended up, may he rest in peace. He ended up being like a good friend of mine towards the end of his life. Um 
you know, we hung out a lot, you know what I'm saying, in the studio and stuff. We did a couple of tracks together. I did an experimental, um, I did a little experimental album called Authentic, and Eddie played the solo on a couple of songs. He played actually a full song on one, he, he played throughout it, and on the other one, he did like a, a complete solo um, on this uh, um, Never Leaving You Alone. I think the name of the song is, I don't remember exactly, yeah, yeah. but. Um, he played a couple of solos on some songs, played on some music. We did music together, and um, it was just great working with him. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. this is this is it right here. This is the Van Halen. Ain't talking about love. Okay. So we got two songs. You know, it's okay. funny because you think about Van Halen, you think rock, but he was so entrenched in in stuff that we know. The beat it joint. This right here, you're about to hear it and go, oh, I didn't know that was that. Plus, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill it with the last one. But this one right here, Ain't Talk About Love, off the first record, sampled. This is all you need to know, but I'll, I'll play the whole thing. right Ain't Talking About Love, 1978. This is Van Halen, produced by Ted Templeman. Okay. Ted but, Templeman? Yeah, okay. Right. All right, Sample Train. This is one of four. Oh. Okay. So here's a sample right here. They flipped it like this. Okay. I remember when I heard this, I was like, wait a second, did they just sample Van Halen? Two live crew, as nasty as they want to be. Oh, right? The, off the, yep. this record is the, right? the f shop. The f shop. I was like, this wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this. One place where we can go, where Yo, that's hilarious. Right, wow, Z, crazy. 1989, as nasty as they want to be, two live crew. Yep. Coming home, hoping you see a video on video music box. Just hoping. Is there going to be any two live videos played today? Okay. Okay. So, there. now we've established where we're going, but here's the big one. Okay. All right. Same record. This guy right here. Same record. Same okay. record. Same record. Talk is this see. right here. Show and me. I'm just going to loop the beginning. You Are know you that, right? Me? You know that, right? Of Everyone course. knows that. And if you don't know it, I'm about to show you. Jamie's crying, Van Halen. Jamie's crying, Van Halen. Okay. This is produced by Ted Templeman, too. Okay. But that drum roll. Hold on. Hold on. Greg is crying. Greg has to go take a leak. <laughs> and he'll be back with Eddie Van Halen. Go ahead, go ahead, one go, ahead, minute. Go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Greg. Here it goes, here it goes, though. Check this out. You don't want to miss this. Let's do it. Oh, I knew what that was. Uh, that was that was a no-brainer. That drum roll, in case you never knew, Van Halen, again, Just in the hip -hop. tone, just the, the tone from right? the... Right? And the guitar stabs right here. Yeah, man. Shout out to the Dust Brothers. Wow, I didn't know that. Yo. Tone low, wild right? thing. Oh, shit. I 1988, huh? I did not know Mike Ross produced this record. The Dust really? Brothers, oh, Matt yeah. Dyke and Mike yeah. Ross. Working what up, Mike? Not a five for my money. It's on the weekend cup. Yo, this is bugged out. Yeah. So this is all Eddie Van Halen. That's it, man. The sample train. The shout out to Eddie Van Halen. Wow. Yo, Z, that was a great one. That was crazy. I didn't know where he was going with that. Did he get paid for this one, though? Yeah, they must have. They had to. <laughs> they better have. <laughs> Because it seemed like he cool. He just or maybe he Come did it for charity. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they are crazy in a, a whole busload of Jersey kids. Ooh. Unbelievable. Rock the Bells Radio. Salute the sample. Subscribe, baby. YouTube. On YouTube. You know what I'm saying?